So, a starship looks pretty good in this uh, this grayscale. But what if you wanted to create a uh, a blueprint for handing out to the players? Now, I love handing out blueprints. Grayscale maps, they're fine. Blueprints, for me, they just give that sort of you know cyberpunk sci-fi feel to them. Really, really easy to do. Before we move ahead with this, though, we're going to go to our effects. You notice that we've got this loaded in. I'm going to save it. The reason I'm saving it now is if I do any more modifications at this point, they're going to be reflected in this particular style sheet. And we're now moving on to a new style sheet, which is the blueprint. So saving it at this point allows us to go back to it at any point in time just by clicking here and selecting. I'll give you an example of that. Let's go back to our Starship color version. Click on OK. You'll now see that we have our beautiful color Starship. Same map, different rendering by the use of style sheets and effects. Let's get a nice close up of that, that area there, the main deck. The cruise quarters, you can see all the lovely effects that we put in before are in place, those lovely shadowing and so forth. If we click on our effects, we go back to black and white, we get the lovely black and white effect. Fantastic. Now, let's, now that we've established these two style sheets that we can use, or, or collections of style sheets that we can just switch our map between, I'm going to click here and I'm going to create a new one. Instead of calling it black and white, I'm going to call it blueprint. Click on OK and OK. So far nothing has changed. Let's now turn this into a blueprint. I'll go effects, whole drawing, and I'm going to edit this RGB matrix. The only thing I'm going to do is enrich the blue color here by 0 0.3. That's it. I just add 0 0.3 to that section there on the grayscale. there's our blueprint. I'll also come to the background and I'm going to adjust that transparency slightly higher. In fact, that's probably too high. Make it 20. There you go. A fantastic blueprint diagram. Of course you could tweak these colors as well by going back in and selecting uh, various effects. I'm not going to do that. I'll leave that up to you. But basically by altering that that grey scale to be a little bit more blue, we can end up with a very quick blueprint. So there you have it. There's how to create a, uh, a series of, sh of collections of style sheets that you can apply to the same map and get very, very different results.